This video shows how you manage a component on the Decision Management Platform. We'll cover how to acquire and configure a component, and how to publish it for testing and for deployment into production. Here in the catalog, you can see the types of components that are available. You can click on a component's name for more information about it. For this demo, I'm going to use the PMML Model Executor component. It lets you create a scoring service from a model defined in PMML, the predictive model markup language. I already have the file with my model definition on my hard drive, so I'm going to acquire the component by clicking the Add button, entering a name and description, and clicking Save. When you acquire a component, the platform copies it to its own development environment where you can configure it for your business needs. While it's doing that, Let's take a look at the lifecycle stages a component goes through and the environments that are created to support configuring, testing, and deploying the component. Configuration is always done in the development environment. How you do the configuration depends on the type of component. In our example, it consists of uploading the PMML file we want to use. When the component is configured, you submit it for testing. The Submit step creates a separate staging environment where web service endpoints are available for testing the service. When testing is complete, you can approve or reject the component. Once it is approved, you can deploy it to the production environment, and the web service endpoints for the production scoring service will be available to your solution applications. Components and solutions are available in your library. Before I configure my new component, I'm going to create a solution and add the component to it. Solutions provide the necessary context for security and reporting purposes. I'll give the new solution a name and add my component by clicking on the arrow for the component row. Each component has a drop-down menu that contains the commands for managing the component. I'll click Configure to upload my PMML file. I can browse for the file and upload it to configure the component. Now that my component is configured, I'll submit it for testing. The first time I submit the component, the staging environment is created. Notice that the status is now submitted and the change status command is now active. I can approve the component and once the component is approved the deploy command is activated. The first time the component is deployed the production environment is created. The URLs for the web service endpoints that your QA testers and solution developers use to access the component decision services are available by clicking on the View Links command. 